after the Indiana game, Josh talked about a lack of accountability on his team. Do you think there's lack of accountability on his team? Uh, we're good. Uh, and then, uh, we live off uh, last three games. Do the leaders feel the need to step up and say anything? Oh, yes, uh, for sure. Uh, I saw the leader, uh, and these guys respect me. And, uh, you know, I show them the court, so, you know, whatever I got to do, I'm going to keep doing that. But do you, do you ever feel the need to say anything within like, a locker room? Did anybody ever step up, like, to, to get you guys out of a funk? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, we talk about it. Uh, you know, I don't talk much. Uh, you know, I just... I lead by example, uh, but if I, if I feel the need to say something, I will. And, you know, as a leader, uh, you kind of have to do that. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Are there positives to having the, the two new starters sort of speak up now? I know it's, it's hard for new players to kind of come into a team with two stars. Is it good that they're, they're sort of speaking up? And everybody has the freedom to do whatever they want. I mean, we're not entitled. Uh, you know, I've been here the longest. Ben has been here. Uh, you know, we're not entitled. Uh, you know, the way I get better, I like people telling me what I don't do uh, best. And I feel like, you know, every time uh, if, I, if I do something wrong, uh, these guys let me. Uh, but, you know, like I said, uh, we humble. Uh, we want to learn. We want to get better. He wants to learn, he wants to get better, so uh, there's no there's no sense of, you know, people like being afraid to speak up. Uh, you know, everybody has the freedom, and uh, that's the culture that we have, and there's nothing going on. Ben, what's your take on the last Thank week? You. Why do you think you guys aren't playing that well? Um, it's, it's three, it's, it's, in the grand scheme, scheme of things, three games. Obviously, you know, we should have had better games. I probably should have won. Um, but we're staying together. We had a great practice today. Everyone was locked in. Um, it was good to be back. You know, use that term a lot this year, especially when you guys have had really good games in Milwaukee, win the Miami game at home. Do, do you feel like people are locked in? Yeah, yeah. Locked in. I mean, do you feel like you're getting at them in some of these road games or some of these games you know, at Christmas Day? It seems to be below you in the standings. It's, uh, it comes and goes sometimes. It's, that's one of the things we're trying to maintain and get to an area where you know, we're executing our plays at a high level and defensively communicating and knowing what we're in. Um, and defensively, and we know Joe didn't play the other day, but why was it so drastically a fall off for you guys? Yeah, um, I mean, games like that happen, honestly. Um, obviously, you don't want them to happen often. Um, and that's, that's not a sign of who we are as a team, you know, especially the guys that we have in this team, and the programs that we got. So, you know, we don't want to see that again. Josh came out and said there was a lack of accountability in the locker room. What do you think when you hear him say something like that? Um, yeah, I agree. And, you know, we, we sat down and talked this morning. So, um, you know, we all know 
why we're here, you know, what we want to get out of, you know, being here. Um, that's the championship, and we just have to hold each other accountable. You said you, you talked as a team, or for you and Josh? No, just everybody. We all talk. Um, I mean, every every time we come in, we talk. Um, it's yeah, the first practice uh, since. There's no, you're not sensing any fr frustration with each other. Or, or I mean, it's it's one of those things, ups and downs. You know, season's not going to be, you don't have to get into an O. Um, you know, as long as we stay together, we don't lose our minds, and uh, you know, because I think we'll be fine. You mentioned the effort was there Um, I mean, it depends how you measure it. When you measure it, you're like, saying guys didn't try it. I don't think you're right. It just seems like a lot of, um, you know, a lot of enthusiasm. Um, when, when teams make runs, they continue to do so, you don't stop them. That's probably what you said. When the word accountability comes up, what, what's Brett's role in trying to get you guys to say hold each other accountable? Does he have any place in the Yeah, Yeah, every, everybody, I think everybody, you know, from starters to the bench guys to, you know, the coaches. Um, and that's just, you know, in every workplace that you, you want to have somebody that's able to let you know and help you get better. Um, and that's everybody, you know, that's just everybody. So what's the key against you to, to get out of the funk and make sure it's not pouring around? Um, starts with guarding James, you know, we're going to try to make it tough on him. Um, load the paint, you know, come over and help, things like that. So, we look forward to it. How much is the message for this next game? Like, let's just get back to who we are. Yeah, um, it's huge. Is it, is it taking longer Couple than, more you, guys. than you anticipated for, for this team to kind of coalesce around each other? Yes and no. I mean, you look back a week ago, we beat them in Milwaukee by 30. So, I mean, everybody was saying uh, who, we were, who we were then. Um, you know, three games, obviously, everybody's not talking another way. So, that's what it is. Like the ups and downs. Last one. More drastic than maybe you thought? Um, I mean, it's good to know everybody in the locker room wants to win. You know, you don't have guys who are just comfortable losing. Nobody's you know, in there just fine with losing. Um, I mean, and that's, that's a positive. That's what I took from this morning. You know, everybody's speaking on there. Everybody wants to win. So you know where everybody's heads at. Thanks, man. Thank, Thank you, man.